Salam everyone, welcome to lesson number 23. In the background picture we have a calendar. This means that we're gonna see how we tell the date in English. Welcome. When we write the dates on the board, we usually write it this way. For example, Thursday, October the 15th, 2020. Thursday is a day. October is a month. The 15th is what we call ordinal number. And of course, 2020 is a year. Okay? We have already seen these in some previous lessons. Well, let's see the pronunciation again. Here we have Sunday, Tuesday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, Friday, and Thursday. What did we call them? Of course, days of the week. Good. Well, do you still remember the right order? What is number one? Excellent, Monday. Number two, good, Tuesday, three, Wednesday, four, Thursday, five, Friday, six, Saturday, and seven, of course, Sunday. Good job. Well, the second thing that we find in a date is one of these. Let's see the pronunciation. We have July, February, January, December, October, March, June, November, September, August, May, and April. What did we just call them? Of course, months or months of the year. They are not in a good order. Can you do it? Of course, you click pause, you try to put them in order, then you click play again. Number one, excellent, January. Number two, February, three, March 4, April 5, May 6, June 7, July 8, August 9, September 10, October 11, November and 12, December. Good job, guys. Okay, guys, so let's have a look here. Let's imagine that Ahmed in the test got 10 out of 20. Sarah got 15 out of 20 and Mustafa got 20 out of 20. So what do we say if we want to classify them or put them in order? Well, you may say Mustafa is 1. Sarah is 2, Ahmed is 3. But do we say it like this in English? Of course not. No, we don't say is 1, yeah, Sarah is 2, and Ahmed is 3. No. 1, 2, 3. These are what we call cardinal numbers. We need something to, to put them, to put these students in order. So, we need what we call ordinal numbers, not cardinal numbers, okay? Yeah, so ordinal numbers, using them, we're going to say Mustafa is the first. 
Mustafa is the first, not one. Sarah is the second. Sarah is the second, not two. Ahmed is the third. Okay, Ahmed is the third. Clear, guys? Well, and here is a list of ordinal numbers that we usually use in a date. We have the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth, the ninth, the tenth, the eleventh, the twelfth, the thirteenth, the fourteenth, the fifteenth, the sixteenth, the seventeenth, the eighteenth, the nineteenth, the twentieth, the twenty-first, twenty-second, twenty-third, twenty-fourth, the twenty-fifth, the twenty-sixth, the twenty-seventh, twenty-eighth, twenty-ninth, the thirtieth, and the thirty-first. Okay, guys. Okay, now if your teacher or one of your classmates asks you about the date, what would he say? Of course, what's the date today? What's the date today? And your answer is gonna be, for example, today is Thursday, October the 15th. Okay? Well, you have to respect this order. You begin with the day and month, then the ordinal number. In a calendar, you may find them this way. For example, this way or this way. But you have to follow the order that we've just seen all the time. So, for all these, the right answer is, today is Thursday, October the 15th. Okay, guys? Now it's your turn guys, so uh, this is an exercise, of course the question is what's the date today? You hit pause, you do it, then you hit play again. Let's see the answers. Number one, today is Wednesday, November the 9th. Number two, today is Friday. January the 22nd. Number three. Today is Monday, March the 3rd. Number four. Today is Thursday, December the 21st. And the last one. Today is Tuesday, April the 30th. Okay, guys. Well, time for me to say... Goodbye, see you in the next lesson.